What happens if you work with or you see somebody at your organization who is a jerk? You know, they're just, they're doing all these things that you said that you don't wanna do. What action do you take, if any, uh, first as a leader, and second of all, what if you are working for a leader who's a jerk? Any advice for what employees should do in that situation? Sure. I think, look, first, uh, with people that I work closely with, or and not just here, but in all my uh, career, uh, it's what we've done, what I do is coach them first, because I think it's very important to give constructive feedback. And then you do things like 360s. 360s have helped me so much to be a better leader, because you need a mirror put to your face to say, what do others think? So it's the 360, I'm a huge believer in that tool. And I think I had my first one, um, this wonderful HR lady called Gail Customer in, in SC Johnson did it for me. And it was five page, she talked to 21 people who worked with me wow. at age 31 to get that. I had three pages, three and a half pages of great stuff and then one and a half pages, a lot of stuff that I had to improve. When I looked at it, I was shocked. And I was so depressed for a few days saying, I can't believe the, the people said all that about what me. What did they say? But Oh, they, they were like, oh, because sometimes I joke and they would mistake that to be being cocky or being yeah. arrogant. And I was full of myself. And, and partially some of that was true. That really changed me. And, and then going to Korea, you know, where I didn't speak the language and I had to lead a company, that, that changed me so much more. But I think that is so important. I've done this, I've done 360s, I did it at Office Max when I became CEO. Uh, and then I present my results to my team and say, look, this is what you said, good, but also not so good, and here's what I'm gonna improve. I did that at Ritchie Brothers. I think it's so important to do that. But then look, at some point, if the values of this person, whoever it is, no matter how good they are, they could walk on water, but if they don't have the values that you, you are espousing, in our company at Null, we talk about truth, transparency, teamwork. And for me, that teamwork is so critical. I am very big on people who are all about the company as a whole and their team as a whole, and not about just themselves. If they're all about themselves, I, have, I get a little impatient. So at some point, you may have to take them out. And I have done that many a time where at some point you just say, enough is enough, I'm sorry, your values, you may be a better fit somewhere else. So you have to Even if they bring decisions. in a lot of money, you would still do it? Oh, absolutely. Because otherwise it rings hollow. You, people say, oh, that's just slogan, Saligram. You just say it for a good PR effect. Mm -hmm. So you have to put your money where your mouth is. But look, at the CEO level, a lot of times this philosophy, it has to cascade down. Yeah. And that's why you have to have good HR systems good HR people who are constantly monitoring things. You're getting feedback. I make our HR people read all our uh, uh, reports on Glassdoor because I, that's a good monitoring tool to say, what are people saying? And then we are doing exit interviews and trying to say, okay, people are leaving. Why did they leave? What did they say about us? And sooner or later, word gets around and you see the behaviors and you give people chances you don't automatically just go and say, hey, you're a jerk, you're out. That's, that's no good. You want to counsel them, coach them, but at some point, you just have to pull the trigger if they're not changing their behavior. Yeah. So you know, a lot of times people don't realize how they're coming across. But I have very little patience for executives who want to bring others down to propagate themselves and throw their teammates under the bus. That's for me a no-no. Yeah, it's interesting. You asked another question, what do you do as an employee if you've got a boss? Look, I think it's important to talk to your HR people. If you've got good HR people, they'll listen. Um, most companies, you know, the, uh, HR people are advocates. They're meant to be not only looking at the side of the corporation, but also be advocates for employees. So use the systems to help you to get counsel and, 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 and talk to your boss, have transparent communication. It's never easy when you have that, but I think it's important. And if it just becomes, if the company doesn't really care, then you have to ask, is this the right company for you?